Hi, um, I'm TV Smiley, and uh, my name is Ayende, and it's my brother Omo. And um, first of all, my problem is this. I watch something on TV, I see an outfit I really, really like, my girlfriend is like, I want to get that outfit for her, but all of a sudden, like, I just know it's an outfit, but I don't know who makes it, who the designer is, or where I can get it from. So that's my problem. So basically what TV styling does is, it allows you to get outfits from TV, straight from the TV, on, off our website. So first of all, the first top 10 TV shows which have fashion teams um, have over 100 million views. So these are viewed by a very, very large crowd. And product placement, which is like ads, which are put into TV, like, you know, where it draws a ship, has is forecasted at 6.1 billion this year alone. So um, this weekend, so we decided to survey about 100 people, 50 guys, 50 girls, and ladies. And the ladies all came back, said they actually had the problem of seeing a, a dress on how to life on TV. And they'll actually buy it. Ninety percent of them said they will buy it. For the guys, the number is a bit less. Of course, naturally, we know guys are not so inclined to shop. Um, I'll do enough, but then we just go straight to the website. Um, this is live, so if you have your PC on, you can go straight. Um, TVStyling.com. And so, I've, I, I, once we, once we get to our page, you know, we have like any. Uh, you know, the whole idea is to find like whatever TV show or movie you're looking for straight on. So we have movies, TV show, music videos blog and code. So the whole idea is, you know, once you come on it, you can see a show you're looking for. Also, we also embedded advertising into it such that at some point, you know, you can put like ads right into this because people tend to see it. And we want to make like a social community. So it's actually like a, a social marketplace where people come and buy and sell outfits one on TV. So it's actually a social community. Um, so you have two blogs. And let's just go straight to the TV show. And it is Gossip Girl. So once you click on TV shows, it actually shows you TV shows, like all the TV shows, which are at least all of them which you have, which are fashion things. Go so Gossip Girl. And, um, yeah, so the first episode, you know. So you can actually search for it by season, episode, whatever. If you, if you, if you saw, it, like, the outfits in Gossip Girl, season 5, episode 10, you search that way. The one I saw was in season 1, episode 1, so we can just go straight to season 1, episode 1, and get it. And um, that's the exact same dress I've seen. But by the way, it actually shows you other dresses which were being worn right on the same show. Like that same episode, like other styles were being put on it. So let's get the first one, which is the one I wanted, that one. That's it. Um, so that's, that's, that's the dress I want. So like I said, it's actually a social marketplace, which means like, so these are actually our premium listings. So these are people who like actually pay a fee to allow them show on top, which are like to have their postings first shown. And if you scroll down, these are actually other. I know it's a bit blurry, but these are actually other postings from the communities. And these are free. To, these are free listers. Um, I know it doesn't show up properly here. Well, here, but the whole idea is that people who have premium listings will pay to have their ads come up first before everyone else. And we also have the link to Pinterest, which means if someone sees a style they like, they can actually just pin it straight to our Pinterest page and it actually links up back. <coughs> <It's enough. laughs> um, and also we're gonna like the whole idea is like this is the community, we're gonna partner with blogs who are actually currently updating ourselves about what style is being worn in this show and another mm -hmm. show. So on our revenue, our revenue is gonna be general advertisement from websites. First of all, then the fee from the premium listing, the percentage of final sales, which is going to 5 to 10%. Then we're going to partner with retail, retailers who are in similar styling. In also, data analytics. We can actually sell the data from our, our trends. If you notice a lot of people buy gowns at $100, as opposed to when it's $250, we can actually tell you for this exact same style. If you put on this price range, more people tend to buy. Also, we can also tell you which style sell more on a particular TV show. So maybe your product is actually in the wrong category. For example, if you have the same product in one TV show and it's not selling as much as one TV show, maybe you should think of placing it into that um, TV show. And also, this is a good way to track your product placement sales value because you have product placement, but you don't know how if it's going to sell outside the TV show. Who just see that and admire it at that? And then our future revenue stream, like you said, is to partner with product placement agency. If we bring style from TV screen to our consumers, at some point our consumers will also want to know how they can get their own styles onto TV shows. They also want to know how they can place their own styles on TV shows also. And then we were looking at it, so with that we can actually track like B2B and B2C also. Then in the future, which is really, really far, we're looking at image recognition, so you can actually just take a picture and you already have the style catalog with us and then you can search for it. 
And um, so the way we look at looking at rolling out, we are, this is a unique space. We, there's really no one into, in this current space right now. And I'm going to link up with bloggers to go. You know, go yeah, thank you.